Hello guys, it's Delta249er here, and I was asked to make a video on how to install a ground proximity warning system uh, gauge for Flight Simulator X, and <clears throat> if you go into your web browser and go to this link, which will be in the description, uh, and you actually need to make an account with Avsim, so do that. It's not really a bad thing. It's free, and they they have a lot of good um, add-ons for Flight Simulator. Many f versions of Flight Simulator, so it's a good thing. And um, once you make an account, you can download the file, and <clears throat> it'll come zipped. Just go ahead and unzip the uh, hold on alright and then go you can delete these two files if you want but you're just gonna get rid of it well you're probably gonna get rid of the folder anyway so here this is what oh wait that's not what I wanted to I don't know but that's kinda what it looks like but um so you wanna navigate to your Flight Simulator X folder, and I'm actually going to open this up like so. Okay, so you want to go into gauges, and um, actually, you want to go from gauges to RCB gauges into here. And if you don't want these files, this is really important if you're just doing this. Um, if you don't want these files in your folder, pull them out, but keep them because you need them in a second. Um, and anyway, drag, drag this gauges folder into your Flight Simulator X um, main directory because it'll just. And then uh, when it says merge, say yes. And I'm just gonna cancel this because. Um, I've already done that, but that's what you're going to do. And then, same thing with sound. You're just going to drag it in, say yes, and just say yes to all this. I mean, it, this won't come up, actually, but for you guys. But uh, <clears throat> Anyway, and then, in the gauges, um, in the folder that you just downloaded, you want to go into RCB gauges and open up the README here and go into your sim objects, airplanes, and whatever airplane you want to use this on. I'm going to use it on the 747-400. You want to go into that directory, go into panel, and open up. Um, actually, before you do that, just copy it and paste it and then you can rename this as panel BAK and then go back into the panel.config <clears throat> or whatever the yeah panel thing and um, in this first area you want to come over here scroll down a little bit and where it says under blah, blah blah you want to wait I'm going ahead here I'm trying to find it there sorry uh, you want to copy this window and then two stars and then equals GPWS you want to copy that into here below your last window and actually I can get rid of this sorry um, there we go. And you want to copy it so it's below there. And whatever the number before it is, um, do the number after it. So mine is 06, so 07. Then scroll down to, or scroll down here, and here it is. You want to copy these two things. It says gauge. And gauge. You want to copy them, and 
where it says Windows 00, zero right here. Go all the way down to the bottom of the gauge. In, so mine is gauge 57. But, um, and you want to add the two uh, lines of code here. And <clears throat> this will be 58 and 59 or whatever yours is and um, then go back to here copy the window it says after the last window section copy this and <clears throat> go scroll down all the way to where you see the last window here and then paste this in and then change this window to whatever your first thing up here was that uh, mine was windows window 07 um, the number needs to correspond so go back to here oops I missed it there it is and change this to 07 and that is about it just save it you can close that out and uh I guess let me just keep this stuff open just in case but then you wanna go into flight simulator give it a second uh take a second to load up and won't take too long usually <laughs> And once you get in here, it'll say, <clears throat> do you want to, I believe, unless I've already done this, but it'll probably say something about, do you want to, like, enable the gauge or something, and just say yes. Um, and then I'm going to test it out here. I can't actually record it because it won't really work very well. So... Yeah, it's, I'm waiting for this so I can show you how to, what to say when it comes up. Hold on, I'll be back in a second when it's loaded up. I'll come back. Alright, so nothing came up on mine, but if something comes up, just say yes, and if it says always load this gauge or something like that, just say yes. And um, you're pretty much set. So, hope that helped if you have this. Um, if you're unsure how to do that and if you have any questions just leave a comment below also I forgot to mention um, when you get into the simulator all you want to do is um, just go uh, press the alt key and go to view instrument panel and click GPWS for it to uh, show the gauge and yeah, that's about it. So comment if you have any more questions.